Good morning guys, I hope that this video finds you all well. I'm gonna just jump right into this, if you don't mind. In Revelation chapter one, in, ah, in Revelation chapter 21, it says, I heard a loud shout from the throne saying, look, God's home is now among his people. He will live with them and they will be his people. God himself will be with them. He will wipe every tear from their eyes, and there will be no more death, no more sorrow, or crying, or pain. All these things are gone forever. And the one sitting on the throne said, Look, I am making everything new. And then he said to me, Write this down, for what I tell you is trustworthy and true. And he also said, It is finished. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. To all who are thirsty, I give freely from the springs of the water of life. And all who are victorious will inherit all these blessings. I will be their God, and they will be my children. So the reason why I wanted to share with that one with you is we in our in our community out here, we just experienced a, a suicide and it's, it's very fresh, and our, our prayers and our thoughts definitely go out to the, the family and friends because it's this, this is hard. It's a very hard time, and we will do whatever we possibly can to help out the community and help out this family. But also because this, this is a very prevalent issue. Like Utah ranks in the top 10 for suicide but not only not just suicide but specifically teenage young people just just think about that and once again I'll, I'll make this broader it's not just a utah issue either this is a global pandemic this is a global issue where people come to a point in their life where they have allow themselves to believe for whatever reason that there's just there's no more there's no point in going on anymore what whatever that is and th this is hard it's just hard i've i've lost friends to this i know people that have lost friends and families to, to this so it's very personal it's, it's, yeah, it's very personal. But there's hope. And that, that's what I want this to be. Whoever sees this, even if this this video of some some guy in his basement with a, a hat and a, and a beard that's just talking. Even if this video reaches one person and it helps them, even in, in the slightest way, to go to call us, to call somebody, to call a friend, to call a family member and say, I am really struggling right now with my self-worth, with, with whatever it is that is pushing you towards the edge. Please reach out to somebody, okay? You are not alone. You are never alone. You are loved and you are wanted. Specifically, you are loved and wanted by God. Okay, and I know this, this is a little different, but this has to be said. This has to be frequently said because there are people all over the world that think these thoughts, that think that they're not good enough, that they're not worth enough to think that their, their life has no meaning. And that's just not true. It's not true. And the hope is this, is that there's a God that loves you. There's a God that wants you. There's a God that wants to have this day with you where he will say, it is finished. It is done. All of this pain, all of this sorrow that you've experienced, it's done. It's gone forever. And not only that, it says that it's tr that what he says is trustworthy and true. That it's trustworthy and true that God will completely do away with your pain and your sorrow one day. I don't know when, but one day it will happen. And through that, 
while you're here, you don't have to do this alone, okay? Reach out to somebody. Reach out to your local church. Reach out to us. Reach out to your friends, your family, a teacher, a counselor. You don't have to do this alone. There is hope. There's always hope. So I just want to I just want to make this quick. I just want to end this here and and just you are loved and you are wanted. I don't know who you are, but I hope that if this if this video comes across you and you're at that point where you feel like you're about to give up, don't give up. Please do not give up, okay? You are not alone. You are loved, you are wanted, and there are people that will do anything to help you. You just have to be willing to take that step. And it's a hard step. But if, if you take that first step, your life will change. Your life could change for the better. You just got to take that leap of faith. But just know that God loves you that he wants you, and that you are worth everything to him. God bless.